Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I have a interesting video to show you a new design on a Mercedes transmission oil pan that is just overly complicated to say the least. Now before we go ahead and begin, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Definitely smash the like button because it helps the channel out. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So with today's newer modern designs, uh, you know, it, it was about time that it would eventually catch up with transmissions. And over the past 10 years, uh, transmissions have gone from just having a simple dipstick and a fill port and checking it while it's uh, running in neutral and the fluid warmed up to having a really complicated you know way of doing things even the maintenance on them has evolved kind of crazily where you can't just drop a pan and change the filter anymore you got to do a little bit more and uh well today we have that combination here um this is a mercedes oil pan that goes on their newer transmissions i believe they are the nine speeds but i could be wrong um, I did this job a while ago and I saved the pan and I wanted to make this video, but I believe it's a 9-speed transmission. Uh, it belongs on the newer uh, class of cars. I believe this vehicle was a uh, 2020 uh, or 2021 E300 model. Uh, so whatever transmission that is, I don't know the name. I should have probably checked it, but that's not what this video is about. It's about the evolving of transmissions and their systems. So... I miss the old days where you just had a fill port and a dipstick and you can drop your pan, change your filter, reseal it, fill it up and you know be on your merry way. Now this is the new style of what we have going on here and this is the oil pan of that Mercedes. We got quite a bit going on up here in the front and also uh, quite a bit going on here on the back side. Now this is uh, I guess you can say a complicated mess to say the least. Uh, it requires a little bit more patience, uh, some tooling, and things that you may not just have in your toolbox already. Now, if you work at Mercedes, you probably have the tools, but if you're trying to maintain this yourself, it can be quite the hassle. So, in our oil pan, you will find that we have our oil filters. Now, we have two filters here. Uh, you cannot uh, get these separately from what I believe. Now, you can separate them. Uh, you can pull this tab here and pull on them and you can get them off from what it looks like but when you order this from Mercedes you get the pan with the filters and o-rings already pre-installed and along with the newer pan you also get the magnets that are built into the pan uh, you can see our old magnets here and I got some of the shoe on my finger so you're getting basically the pan with the filters with the magnets and with the gasket already built into the pan now, typically, these two little items that are poking out here, you'll see this one and this one, uh, they will come separately, and Mercedes will sell them to you for an extra charge instead of just kind of packaging this whole thing. Um, but needless to say, uh, we have the old ones here because uh, I, we were able to get a kit that had everything that we needed, and this is what was left. Uh, the only thing that is missing off this oil pan is going to be the cover that will typically be here because we didn't get a new one of those. We reused the old one. We just replaced the o-ring on it when we did this job so the way that this works and it's more than one thing on top of integrating everything together which some will say is a good thing uh, some will say is a bad thing it kind of depends on which side of the fence you want to sit in uh, what they've done with this is uh, they've give you one whole package now I'm not against having an all-in-one package I do think it's kind of needless to have to replace the pan uh, every single time I wish this actually was a metal pan, it's better for heat transfer because, I mean, who are we kidding? This plastic pan with these little heat sink ridges, I mean, plastic doesn't really radiate heat that well compared to metal. So, uh, I wish they just had gone with a metal pan design and given you these filters to replace separately. That would have probably been the best way to do it. Uh, and also uh, a serviceable gasket that you can get the gasket. Now, I'm pretty sure you might be able to get the gasket separately. I'm not too sure. But, uh, you know, all the stuff that's on here, you can remove off this pan. So I would think they have some sort of serviceability on these items. So I believe Mercedes could have just used an aluminum pan and just made it serviceable by having replaceable filters in the gasket. Uh, because, you know, the gasket and this stuff looks like it can come off. And as a matter of fact, I took off the gasket because uh, it was kind of bugging me. But uh, overall... Um, they integrated everything, and it's not the best integration, but I guess some people will say it's good, some will say it's bad. Um, on here, we have this little uh, 
I guess you can call the tube. It comes off. Now, if I recall correctly, this is for a sonar tool that they use that will basically uh, help you aid in getting the right uh, amount of fill on there. Um, I forget exactly because I did this a while ago, but this is a way of measuring it using an electronic tool like a sonar sensor. So we're not going to need this. I'm going to chuck it in the trash. And now the most complicated part of this that I feel is kind of nice but also a little bit complicated because it can be a little bit confusing is the way that they have you uh, drain it if you overfill it to get your topped off level. Now in here we have this mechanism and it is controlled through down here and basically there's an Allen style tool that goes in here and you can turn this to one of many positions. Now the camera may not pick it up correctly here but we have a couple positions. You have a position one, two, three, and four and depending on what position it's in, like one of them is a fill position, second one is a drain position, the third one would be like a level off position once you reach the optimum temperature and the fourth one, I forget what it was. I think it was just like a lockdown mode, I believe. So it can get a little confusing uh, when you're doing this. Uh, on top of that, you need a specialty tool uh, that I had to buy that I don't have here with me uh, right now because it's in my cabinet. But you can actually take this off. And when you take it off, that is pretty much the pan. Now, this to me is going to be trash. Uh, I just saved it for the video. But basically, you can see when you take this off how you can position this. And depending on how you position it, I don't know if you can see that opening up and closing. This thing is like a little maze. There's a whole bunch of different cutouts. Because like I said, you have your overfill position that will drain it no matter what. In case you over overfill it. Then you got your fill. And then you got your fully drained ones right here. You see those are opening and closing. So you have three or four different variations of positions on this. And to me, it's just overly complicated. Uh, they didn't need to do this, but the complexity of this is, uh, it could be discouraging. I'm not gonna say this is hard to do, but it can definitely discourage you from doing it at home. And I think that's why they do it this way, because uh, even for me having a shop, once I read into this saying that, you know, there's a specialty tool, it's like a sonar sensor, I was ready to tell this customer, hey, you know what, just take it to Mercedes. I don't want to deal with it um, because we don't have that tool and I don't want to do something wrong. But after doing a little bit of research, found out that you don't need that tool. You could just uh, have that specialty tool, which is basically a really big Allen wrench that fits in here that can basically do... Uh, all these little settings. Um, literally, it's an Allen wrench and like a little cup configuration. You put it in there, you can switch between the positions. So you set it to position one, you let's say drain it. Position two, you fill it if you uh, need it to do it that way. However, we drained it, we pulled our pan off, got it all out, uh, replaced the pan, and then to fill it, we put in whatever position it was. Then we warmed up the transmission, paid attention to our temperature. Then we put it in our other setting. I believe it was setting three where it was like the top off position where it'll drain any excess amount after it's warmed up. And then after it trickles down, you just put it in the lock position, put your cap on it, and it's on its way. It's as simple as that. So basically, instead of a dipstick, they're going the traditional way of the spill method where it just trickles down. And once it, you know, kind of, goes down on the trickling factor, you are full. And it's actually very simple, very easy, but just the way they chose to do it to me, it adds a layer of complexity that is there to scare people. And this is one of those things that uh, it's engineered quite well, I'll give them that, but it's also anti, uh, I guess you can say, repair in your own garage. Uh, and I know even a lot of repair shops won't even touch these because they, they're afraid of them. You know, uh, to be honest with you. So, um, another way that you know new designs aren't really helping. I mean, this is basically the same thing as a dipstick, just opposite. Best way to put it. Um, it it's like a, a differential with the whole fill it till it gushes out. It's essentially the same thing on these, except just a little bit more complexity to it. And the way they package it makes it completely scary for consumers to try to do this at home and even for some shops. So. Just wanted to make this video and share this with everyone uh, because this is just the way things are going nowadays and uh, you know, times are changing. This is what they're changing to and this is what we're gonna be dealing with for the next few years uh, as long as they allow us to be able to service these. Cause I'm feeling in the future, they're gonna take uh, this out and this is just gonna become a completely complicated monstrosity to work with. So 
Uh, can't wait to look forward to that to see if we'll even be servicing them at that point. But uh, overall, that pretty much covers it. Uh, I want to keep rambling on this video. So like always, comment, like, and subscribe because it definitely helps the channel grow. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the next video.